lied to us about being the descendant of a king. Hey, you would have done the same thing if you found out about your past when I found out about mine. Hey, Tony. Is this a mafia thing? <laughs> because if it is, you can join the witness protection program and move to Phoenix and live under the name Sidney Leibowitz. So I... It's not a mafia thing! Uh-huh. Sure it's not, Sid. Tony, I don't understand. Of course not. You got 2,000 years of uh, artists, builders, and inventors. All I am is the great-great-great-grandson of a slave. There's absolutely nothing wrong with having a humble background. Look at Jake. Jake has a humble background. <laughs> But he also has a really cute foreground. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tony, what are you going to tell Miss Ross? Not to mention everybody at school. Oh, man, I don't know. Wish I could just disappear, like my ancestors. What does it look like I'm doing? Why? Because cotton don't pick itself. Of course, I'd have a lot more respect for it if it did. <laughs> Boy, for one of my relations, you sure didn't inherit the Wick sense of humor. Great, great, great grandfather Wicks? I don't believe it. No? Then I guess you're just a simple Simon. I hate my heritage, whining, chopping down the family tree food. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad, great, 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 great. <laughs> oh, oh, but, but you, you got to get out of here. What if somebody sees you? You're not ashamed of me, are you? Well, yeah. What if somebody finds out that my only ancestor is just a down-in-the-dirt slave? Oh, nothing personal. Tony, you know, you've got lots of ancestors far back before they were slaves. Some of them could have been poets, doctors, even kings. And I wish I could prove that. But all I can prove is that Tony Wicks came from slaves. There's nothing more humiliating than that. Is that so? Well, I've known slaves with just as much dignity and self-respect as any free man. Tony's slavery was not the beginning or the end of the Wicks family history. And even if it was, your past shouldn't be the only factor in how you feel about yourself. Well, I guess I'll have to think about that. Hey, uh, you mind if I help you finish picking this cotton? It's not as easy as it looks. Oh, come on, how hard can picking cotton be, huh? Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Includes my family ancestry. All two million Jones and five million Smiths. <laughs> Thank you, Tiffany. That was truly exhausting. Uh, next, we have Mark and Sly Winkle. <laughs> Buongiorno, my little Italian cannoli. Where are you a walk? Flowers are grow. Hey, cool at Casanova. <laughs> In researching our illustrious Winkle family tree, I discovered we come from a long line of liars. Who would have guessed? <laughs> First up, we have Giovanni Winkolini. He was best known for proving that Michelangelo painted the Sistine Chapel wearing a bikini. That's a lie. You know it, baby. Like I said, Winkles are liars. Next up, we have Pope Luigi Winkolini. There was never any Pope Winkleini. That's right. 
He just said that to impress a hot Sicilian babe. <laughs> Much like my cousin Mark here, who said we related to Casanova just to get close to Judy. Oh. I didn't say that. You said we were related to Casanova. Hey, I'm a wanko. <laughs> oh, no. Listen, I still like you. I hope this doesn't affect us. Well, since you're a winkle, that means you're lying. So I'm dumping you, and I'm not lying. I'm gonna kill you. Uh, can you forward my grades to Phoenix, and I'll be under the name Sidney Leibowitz. Leibowitz, Casanova. Pardon. Uh, Miss Ross, may I please say something to the class? Sure, Tony, what is it? I made up my past because I wasn't happy with the one I have. Now, Mansa Musa was real, but whether or not I'm his descendant, I have no idea. The truth is, my ancestors were slaves. I'm sorry I lied to you all about it. May I please redo my presentation? Of course you can. Now, although he didn't have the chance to become rich or, or educated, my great-great-great-grandfather was a decent man who passed on a lot to his family. He taught us values, uh, dignity, and self-respect. Well, he and his wife, they lived, loved, and worked on a farm. And... Later today at 7.05 Eastern on the Superstation, the Village Idiot gets an award on The Andy Griffith Show. And next up, there is no Village Idiot, but there is a super geek, and his name is Screech. Saved by the Bell is next on the Superstation.